Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Winter Workshop Projects. I just got back from uh, being up at the farmhouse this weekend. The workshop has been cleaned up pretty much. I'm not really sure what project this is, if it's going to be the chair that I talked about in the last series with the table or the cabinet that's over there covered up now with a sheet. But I see he has a bunch of diamond willow here. That's he. I know he peeled that a while ago and it's been drying. And he's got these two right here. So, I don't know. I'll come out tomorrow and see what's happening. Well, I just stopped him back out here in the workshop. I'm actually getting things ready right now to uh, first head up to the farmhouse tomorrow morning and then the following morning I'm going to head up to the tent for the tent winter trip. But my dad was out here working on his new project. Like I said when I was out here last time I didn't know if it was going to be a chair or what it was going to be but uh, it ends up that that is what he's going to build. And it looks like he started on it today. He texted me and said that he had stopped at one of the thrift stores and bought a cheap chair. And this is kind of how, if you guys watch when I do the crib, that's what I do. I buy a used crib just so I have the hardware that I need and uh, something to measure by or to kind of go off from and then you create your own ideas. I don't know, this one here looks like a glider. I don't think he's going to do a glider. I don't know if he's going to do a rocker. It sounded like all he needed was a chair. But I'm not real sure, but I see that he has started forming some legs here. So this will actually be a pretty interesting project to follow and see what, uh, what he ends up with. Because I know I've talked about it many times when you start a project like this. Uh, just like my dad always says, you can't have a set thing in your mind because it's going to constantly change due to what your idea is or... Uh, what the piece of wood will do. Uh, so anyway, this will be really interesting. I will probably not be back out here for at least five, could be even seven days. So at that time I'll come back out and we'll see what's happening with the new project, the cabin chair. Well everyone, I'm back. I've been gone for, I believe, seven days. Went up and did the tent winter trip, spent some time at the farmhouse before and after, and I just got back here to the hobby farmhouse. I talked to my dad yesterday and he had said not to start the stove out here even though I wasn't back yet, and he did it again today. I know yesterday there was snow and everything. I'm not sure why he didn't come out here today, but uh, let's take a look and see what's going on. Now it looks to me like he's hybrid, kind of hybriding, if that's a word, this chair into the other one, which is kind of a good idea. I never thought about that because then you've got the whole, what would this one be called? I don't know if that's a rocker or a slider, but you've got all of your uh, mechanical stuff is already there. This is actually going to be a pretty interesting project to see how it turns out. Well, I should be here for the next three days, two and a half days, whatever it is here. It's going to get brutally cold here now. We're going to be dropping down where the wind chills are in a 30 to 30 plus below zero range Fahrenheit. But uh, I've got a, we've got some inside work to do, so the next two days I'll for sure be doing that. And we'll come out here and we'll take a peek and see what's happening on the chair. That was a pretty good idea though. I seen I didn't know what you were gonna do and then you're kinda of hybriding it together so yeah. you get to use the bottom. I wanted to get it higher. Oh yeah. And so I want three inches here but then two and a half third. Oh so it lays back a little bit. It, um, it was just way too low on the ground. Oh yeah. Oh, no. 
Okay. Yeah, it looks like it works pretty good too. But, but, and I was just wondering about the back. Up to the outhouse was that deep, and there were places where it was deep when I dug out the fire pit. I mean, it was, you couldn't see the seats yeah. on the chairs and stuff, but. <laughs> yeah, I remember when Dale and I were up there in fire. He was one of those but hotels on the other cabin. It's one of those times there was so much snow. You see, when you got your own snowshoes, then you had to, to, to dig down to the porch. Yeah, I had to dig down to my door yeah, in the back. Yeah, you know? yeah. And even with the oars, he doesn't. Like, I'm. I'm well, I've been gone for four days. Uh, but it was over the weekend, so my dad wouldn't have been out here too many times, but he has definitely made some more progress on the chair. I'm not going to take it down off of the workbench, but uh, you can see here that he's adding the arms onto the chair. It's actually turning out pretty neat. <laughs> I had no idea really, you know, what was going to happen, how this is going to work, but it would be a fun project because you have the the basic chair and then you just keep adding stuff whatever you think and every time you add something you think about something else you could add and it would be a lot of fun well after work tomorrow I'll come out here and take a peek and see if he was out here or not we'll just continue on with the project Okay everyone, well I'm back out here in the workshop. We had a whole bunch of snow last night that came through here and my dad did not come out here today. He did text me about the chair and he said he's almost done but I think he's going to change something in the back like it was uncomfortable or I'm not really sure. But anyway, uh, I think he's almost done except for finishing and I think mainly he's going to paint this because it's going to be sitting outside. But once again, I'm not completely sure. <laughs> Well, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I'm going to end this video as part one, and uh, there'll be a second part that will end this. I'm here today, I'm here tomorrow for work, and then the following day I'm heading up to the farmhouse. And since my dad did not tell me tonight not to start the wood stove like he did last night, I will fire it up in the morning so it'll be warm when he gets out here. I will see you guys on the next video.